we often hear clients asking, should I be following the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, the Russell 1000, the NASDAQ? So what do you feel is the best gauge for the health of the U.S. markets? Scott, thank you for turning this over here about the stock market. And I'm going to say S&P 500. So first, of course, let's define what that is. The S&P 500 is an equity index made up of 500 of the largest companies traded on either the NYSE, NASDAQ, or CBOE. The S&P 500 is calculated by adding each company's float-adjusted market capitalization. So look, in other words, we're saying here, you multiply total shares outstanding versus the company's current market price, you get the total market capitalization. But when you turn on the TV, you always see them talking about the Dow Jones. And I remind clients all the time that Dow Jones is only made up of 30 companies. 30, not 500. So we're only looking at 30. That's not, that's not, that's not a lot. And crazy enough, in my opinion, is a price-weighted index, meaning the more expensive the stock, the higher the weight. So it's not even talking about the total value. And another thing I like about the S&P 500 is, according to a study by McKinsey, it states that by 2027, 75% of the companies currently on the index will have disappeared or turned over. So you're always getting the top 500 companies are being turned over and updated in the S&P 500 index.